Hello to all you glorious bastards out there. I'm Andorn, the community manager for the OCB gaming community, and welcome to a special video where we will give our thoughts about the upcoming changes to Dirty Bomb. Yesterday, Splash Damage announced that they will be retiring Nexon and taking complete control over Dirty Bomb. This is fantastic news for the company, but we as a community would like to give a huge thank you to Nexon as well as Razor Worm Monic for their fantastic work with Dirty Bomb over the years. You guys have been awesome and we're really sad to see you go. As a large gaming clan, we're always going back to the games that we truly love. Dirty Bomb is one of them, as well as a few other titles with Splash Damage. We began life as a gaming clan in 2007, when Splash Damage worked with ID Software to release Enemy Territory Quake Wars. It's because of them that OCB exists today, and we're incredibly thankful for them for that. It's always exciting to see how the company is evolving, and we've both come a long way. The recent news has opened up a lot of possibilities for us. Back in the day, we hosted several ETQW servers, which were immensely popular. In Dirty Bomb, however, we weren't given that opportunity, except for when we hosted our World Cup last year, nor do any other groups of gamers. When we asked for some permanent servers, however, we were told no, and that they weren't available. Now that Splash Damage has begun the process of hosting the servers themselves, we're looking to them in the hopes that communities like us will be able to own our own little slice of Dirty Bomb on the internet. We'd absolutely love to get back to the days of Quake Wars and see OCB Gaming at the top of the server list again. But it's not just about servers that we're excited. Now that Splash Damage have complete control over the game, they're able to provide quicker support for bugs and roll out patches without having to communicate with another company. We're hoping to see a lot more frequent patches and bug fixes over the coming months. The changes to the anti-cheat system are all also exciting. And we'll be doing our part to report suspected cheaters. We're also holding out hope that the changes will allow Splash Damage to focus on more community oriented projects. While they've said that an SDK is on their wish list, we've often wondered if Nexon were pressuring them into keeping it off the table. Whether it's true or not, OCB are looking to the future when we can design our own maps and vote for popular community created projects to be added to the game. Splash Damage would love to hear your view on this. Is it happening? Please, please, please let us know. So that's it from us, we'd love to hear what you guys think about the upcoming changes in Dirty Bomb and at Splash Damage, and what you think it means to gaming communities like OCB and others out there. Don't forget to hit that like button down below, and remember, don't be a dick.